I think you know one of the main thing is to aim for quality. Uh, in other words, you know the opportunities coming to this, coming to that. Maybe you know you have to aim for quality because uh, that makes you take a step forward. Um, <clears throat> that's the main thing. Uh, then you have to take chances. Uh, for instance, deciding to. I was working for Italian state television for many years, you know. And then I decided to become a freelance, which was involved in some risks. I mean, I was already married, I had kids, you know. Had a safe wage at Italian state television. Uh, you could drink at lunch, you could uh, <laughs> buy <find> people. <laughs> uh, nobody could throw you out. <laughs> so at some point, I became a freelance in Roma. That was a big job, you know, going to Roma. Uh, and, uh, and then not two, two years later, I came to the U.S. Um, and every, every time you start, it's kind of tough. I mean, either coming to the U.S. without knowing anybody, no, no crews, you don't know people, it's, you know. But if you don't have the courage to step into something and, okay, just uh, accept the challenge and try to get it done, overcome, um, it doesn't work. You, you got to risk, you got to try and uh, and aim for quality. I like some movies be rather than others. You know, I like dark stuff. I like uh, the Manhunter kind of movies. I like uh, this in a way. You know, except you got to. At some point, you, have to, you also have to become learn to become really fast in what you're doing because that's part of the game. The faster you are, the better it is for them to have time with the actors to make the story work and uh, preparation. Before the movie starts, no, learning how to sport. see the movie, learning how to see possible obstacles and trickery. Obviously, you need the help of that. But I think the idea of uh, always choosing projects which are not, which is my case, I remember one time, let me say the name here. I did a movie called Hudson Hawk that was offered one year before, but I turned it down because I was doing something else. I mean, a movie with Disney that didn't happen. It was a French director. I saw, so, uh, um, what was the big producer of the movie? They called me again and uh, <clears throat> I said, Dante, you should really take up this movie. Uh, pick up this movie. They already shot for five weeks. And uh, who's the famous action director? Joel Silver, back in those days, right? So they came to Italy and I accepted. I had just left this, this American movie that didn't happen. Thanks God in America they pay you anyway, which is great. <laughs> but I still had some work to do in the house. So I said, okay, let's take, take up this movie um, that was offered to me time earlier. And we, we shot to the Palio di Siena, even you know, some test footage, uh, shooting horses running. And, uh, well, the movie was a kind of a disaster. I mean, it was one of the most horrible movies. So you, there's a, there's a guy that called me and said, how come, how do you dare do for the second time a movie called Manhunter, Red Dragon, that you already shot the Michael Mann movie, Manhunter. How can you be so, you know, I said, guys, I mean, this, this job is just a job also, you know. You're working and sometimes you gotta do things and pay the bills. I mean, it's nice to have a lovely house and so I'm lucky to have a family house in the Italian Alps and also be it here. That takes accepting some moves, maybe like that's on how it is. Sometimes it happens, but yeah, you gotta be always careful about you know going for quality. Now I don't go for quality anymore. Now I go for having a good time. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.